What's up guys, Steven Doctor. So today we're going to talk about day by strategy, step by step. And I found this strategy from 2017, so two years ago. And it's been working out really well, and especially for beginners. So before I go into this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. And also our conference is coming up on the 28th, 29th, and 30th. So make sure to grab your ticket on the last month on sale. Let's get into this video. All right, let's get into the strategy. So first of all, you want to look at the accurate flow and the overall volume. The overall volume and flow correlation will tell you how much demand does the stock has on today. Now let's look at the intraday accurate flow on COCP. COCP flow is around 17.63 million. The overall volume will be 74 million. So when you want to use how much demand does it really has, you want to use the current volume divided by the overall flow will be how many times does the flow already rotated. Now three to five times considered a good buy indicators for a stock like COCP today. Now 74.5 divided by 17 will be five. So it lands right about you know the buy indicator area. Now COCP is considered to be a good buy today. Now the question is when do you want to dip buy and where you want to dip buy. So let's look at COCP on um, the first green day and second green day. Overall comparison, you want to look at the volume first. Volume on the first green day will be 80 million. Second green day will be 60 million. And we want to look at the breakout charts. This $1.5 area becomes the support when it gaps up into the second green day. So when the stock decides to pull back into this 80 million support, you will be a potential dip buy because the stock is green. Now, when you are risking green to red, first of all, green to red is a decent indicator for you to buy. And second indicator will be you are buying into the first green day support, which will be around 1.5. So green to red will be one buy indicator. Buy into the support at 1.5 will be the second buy indicator. So when the stock decides to reverse, it's impossible to break that 80 million support only with 74 million volume because yesterday volume was around 80 million. So number one indicators you want to look at will be you want to use the overall volume divided by the flow to calculate how many times did the stock rotate it today. If it lands around three to five times, it will be considered very bullish. The second criteria in there will be you can use green to red and also you can use the first green day support at 1.5 area to get a decent risk reward from going long. So the last criteria will be something that I want you to avoid. Don't try to long something that a company is desperate for cash and you're trying to long a ticker that's already on the fourth or fifth day on the run, like GMPX. This is one of the tickers you need to avoid because the stock has already become a multi-day runner for the past five or six days. If you're trying to launch into this breakout and you will be able to get an offering on your positions and you will be instantly down about 50% from your original investment. Second thing I want you to avoid will be massive flow rotations. If the flow is only about 1 million and 2 million, and the flow is rotating about 10 to 15 times on that day, it will be very difficult to really go long on that because since it's a low flow, majority of the flow can be controlled by market makers. And once it's controlled and getting SSR, the stock can be very easily dumped in one candle, especially in the afternoon. So when you're trying to go long, I would say, try to find the timing before 1 p.m. Don't try to go long after 2 p.m. Always give yourself about several indicators that you can go along with. And always convince yourself that you have several factors that could lean towards to make you get more winning percentage on your loans. So in this case, what I have on COCP is I can dip buy at 1.5. That will be dip buying from support. So that's the first bullish factor I can use. Second I can use will be green to red. Third thing I can use will be it's only on the second day round. It's not on the fourth or fifth round. So the stock still has rooms to go and it's likely to gap up tomorrow since it finished really strong. If you see a stock finish really strong close to day high after a bearish morning panic, it's likely to gap up on the following day. That will be all the criteria for this pattern and always make sure to calculate the flow rotations. Make sure do not set in on those micro flow because those can be easily controlled. Never chase into a strength, only dip buy into support. That would be the best bet to grow your small account. And that'd be the end of this video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.